Yeah. Has anybody heard the old school? For Rebecca shit, put your motherfucking hands up if you're feeling it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, when I say that, yeah, it's like I travel the world ten times and then I see this pain. Come back up to find out ever more peace and fame. Feel different, even though I know the streets the same. See if there's a change when all they're trying to do is beat the game. I feel it trapped like lap rats scratching on. Cross the perspex up to find a damn point. 24 7, never know, but if it's day or night. Vision of a criminal in the form of a shape and night. Different life fix like program microbes. Come up by life, you just hide behind the white ropes. My mind knows better, but be cheese about the tight rope. But see the cheap and like those parameters and cheese who's to see the week opportunities of the young Read the cheese paper, watch a TV not be hypnotized. Let's get some of them and it's a bitch he was in his wife. Prince and die, pretty bit in the time. Being the front beggar means making good music, making good party music, eat music, just have a good time. Oh, ten times on the last scene is yeah. Come back on to find Not ever more beams in vain Feels different even though I know the streets are same See if it's a change when all they're trying to do is beat the game I travel the world ten times on the last scene is pain Come back on to find Not ever more beams in vain Feels different even though I know the streets are same See if it's a change when all they're trying to do is beat the game Alright, the sick is trash to make it back to the natural elements in the district So let's focus a bit more on music Everybody says you're very eclectic and vibrating I try to vibrate <laughs> 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 I'm very proud of that. What are the different kinds of music which influenced your songs? And how did you manage to mix them all up together? Yeah, definitely like growing up when I was a kid, it was like rock and roll music, heavy metal music, and pop music in the early days, then rap music in the 90s onwards, and then very heavy metal music. So it was just like heavy metal music in a by mid 90s it was all like jungle and then all the different dance music so by the time I moved to Lo London I think it was yeah just like underground hip hop because that was what very progressive I was born in Dubai I grew up there but yeah definitely all types of music all types of underground music basically and uh, in recent times we have just kind of involved with the evolution of everything that's happened in the, in the, in the underground scenes that we like you know like you know, jungle, garage, dubstep, grind, hip hop, booty, whatever the hell, you know, so that's that. Yeah, all that, he said. And then uh, I grew up in Kentucky when I was a kid, so I was very active in this vibe. How did the power position on the show with the holy ball few? Short by the wise in the next cycle will be forgotten. Could find the good ideas, but the base of my mind's rotten. I back for the common cause in the plan for the divine brother. There's only hope but the fine soldiers in the bottom and only gutter. If only cheese are uttered every time my mouths are open, we'd be halfway to the promised land, but the vision of cow was broken. So, what's the main difference is, you know, just between the uh, rock? UK team and then on the American side. Well, we haven't actually we haven't actually played as the lineup we are now in the States yet. But I mean listening to the US rap scene like as as it has been over the last few years, I think it's gone quite, you know, kind of bland. Like a lot of acts coming out making the same kind of music and you know, I think even in the States people are starting to look out for more like they're looking over it, looking over to the UK and looking out for like, you know, more like how can I put it? Like they're looking for something new to kind of get into. You know? I think it's only like very recently that the US rap scene is kind of like having a rebirth in Odd Future and Cool Kids and like guys like that. But you know, I mean, I think they just want something new. And in the UK, like grime music came about like through the garage movement. Like you know, garage MCs kind of started talking, like started making sense, and you know, really like developed the whole flow side of things. So I think that's something fresh that's come out of the UK that you know a lot of people in the states are kind of looking up to. We're going to America soon. I don't know if I meant to say that. We're going to America soon. The guys are dubbing us. America! USA! <laughs> for us, because obviously, like, whether you like it or not, rap music, what we do is basically rap. Yeah. Everybody knows you started a collaboration with Rosier. But usually, when people think about drum and bass and hip hop, they don't agglomerate the two things together. How long did you choose to, to meet and to, to collaborate together? I mean, for us, ever since the beginning, like, um, Orifice in particular was like, 
you know, he's mad into just like drum and bass stuff. And I think like, you know, we would go to a lot of parties and we would like play drum and bass in our sets. And in fact, back in the day, you guys used to make drum and bass, right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's like, you know, we have that kind of history within the crew. And then in terms of me and Noisy, it was just down to like, we were at Glastonbury and, you know, I, I was, you know, I really liked their music and stuff. Um, me and his brother went to go and see their set. And then afterwards, we just met them in the backstage area. I met um, Martin and Walter, their oh, manager, like and then yeah. just like started talking to them. They heard our music, and you know, we like initially they called us over to do um, to, to vocal um, "Split the Atom," which was on their album, and we you know we demoed it. Didn't really work out, but we just ended up making some joints anyway. And then it's just kind of built like that. So we just you know, go over there every now and then, work on some tunes, and that's how we got the track. That's how we got contact, and you know, that's how we you know soul purchase. This is also on their album, Shell Shot. Just like, it all just came from just like being in a good creative environment with like really good producers who wanted like good MCs and you know, it's kind of like, oh. No holds barred! Wow! Jump, motherfucker! Jump, motherfucker! Jump, bitch! Jump, bitch! Jump! Oh. Cheeky questions. Mm. Who has the biggest movie following? Oh, I thought it was going to be real cheeky. No. I think that would have to be no names. <laughs> blonde guy, <laughs> blonde guy, blonde guy, only white guy in the crew. Mid the finger in the fucking air, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's more lies. Um, I just hang out with these guys so people recognise me anyway. Some of the back end is no, no one even recognises. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Spectacular, fantastical. I don't even know if that's Italian. First time in Venice. Photo First grazie. time in Venice. Yo. 